record. Okay, so we're gonna put in place mechanisms so the longer they stay quit, the less likely they are to be. And I said this a general mechanism, there's a number of other mechanisms you could design based on that. Great. Okay, so what do we need to do? Let, let's analyze the situation. What do we need to do in this model? We need a way of doing what? Yeah, we need to wait to track how long they've been a former smoker for this for this round of being a former smoker, because maybe they were a former smoker five years earlier, but we're not counting that. We're 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 sort of treating this the 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 model in our head, the theory we're capturing here is that you know early on after quitting, someone has cravings for smoking because of nicotine. They're undergoing maybe withdrawal symptoms. And it's harder for them to stay quit. But over time, their, um, their level of experience of those symptoms decline, their level of physical dependence on nicotine declines, and they're less and less likely to fall, fall back. So we need a way of keeping track how long they have been, they have been a former smoker for this round. How might we do that? If only we had a way of asking what? Well, we know the current time if only we had a way of asking what, we'd be all set. We know the current time, all we need to find out is what? Yeah, and what past time? Yeah, when they entered that state. If we knew the current time and we knew when they entered the state, we could at any point say, oh, they've been in there for a year or they've been in there for six months, right? that they've been a former smoker for a month or a former smoker for six months, because we'd be able to take the difference between now and, and when they entered, right? So what we need to do is record when they enter at state. Simple enough, right? Mm. How could we record when they entered that state? How could we keep track of something like that? How could we keep track of, of information we, we did it before, it's staring us in the face. Uh, yeah, a variable, a variable will do it. Um, okay, so from the, from the palette, we could go to agent and we'll drag in a variable. Oh, no, no, no. And I'd like to kind of put it down by the state which, to which it pertains. So this variable is going to be um, time, Tempted to say time last quit smoking, um, but uh, in the interest of balancing brevity with clarity, I'm going to say time quit smoking. I think it's pretty clear, right? So if they're quit right now, kind of makes sense. It's, um, uh, or why don't we call it better yet? Let's call it cessation time. Cessation time. In case you can't tell, I take naming seriously. Software developers in general, a lot take naming quite seriously because they have to communicate. They have to communicate intentions with their name. And if they use a good name, it means less need to worry about lots and lots of writing documentation or writing long comments. A good name says so much, okay? Um, the world would be a better place if a song were made about that. Good name says so much. Um, Okay, so this is cessation time. What, what sort of variable is it gonna be? Is it gonna be an object? Is it gonna be an initial smoking state, a peer influence message, a main, a date, a string, an int, or is it gonna be a double? It's time, it's gonna be a double, okay? And we're gonna give it a value um, that's initially a kind of illegal value, minus one. Um, so we'll know if it wasn't initialized because any, Anything that's going to be you know, greater than that. Okay. When are we going to set this variable? When are we going to set it? Un under what conditions will we set the cessation time? When people enter, yeah, when they engage in cessation. And where do they engage in cessation in the model? Yeah, they go into former smoker. And you know, we could put it in these transitions in, but we'd have to put it for both. It's, it's better to do it just at the entry point. And lo and behold, we already have something that assigns to other variables there. Remember we assigned their color? Remember it had a U in it? 
might think that's odd, um, but you're getting used to curious habits of, of our country, um, of our home and native land. Okay, so here we go. Um, so what do we need to do here? My fingers are poised for your command. What do we need to do? Okay, yeah, cessation time, and we're gonna give it a value that's the current what? Begins with T, time. Yeah, the current time. And in fact, you just have to ask this. And I'm gonna put it up on the big screen so that all can see it. Um, okay. Um, time is saying, what's the current time? Give it back the value, I put it in the system. Are we okay with this? Okay or not? Okay. Okay, great. Are we okay with this? Okay, so let's let's build the model and let's run it. And let's go see if people have that recorded. Sometimes it's good as a sanity check. Where could we go look at a particular person in this model? Anyone tell me? In this model interface, where could we go? If we want to see the state of a particular person. Bottom right, we can open this up. We can drill down to the population. We can move and say, uh, okay, this one is still minus one. What does that mean? Yeah, they're not a former circle. What state are they in? Can you tell? It's, it's not so obvious, but if you see, they're a current smoker, darn right. So if we sped this up, look at that. Their cessation time was 0.081 and boom, they go back to that. Um, this is the latest cessation time, right? Pretty cool, um, at least in my judgment, cool. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now, how are we gonna determine how long that they, uh, they've been former smoker? If they're in the former smoker state, how do we determine how long they have uh, been there? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, but um, that would be if they're leaving. And we want to figure it out to weigh the chance that they are leaving. So how would we figure it out? If, if we're, we're in a situation and we want to figure out how long have they been there, what would we do? We know they're in the we're supposed to form a smoker state. What would we do? Now minus cessation time. That's it. Can ask what's the current time and subtract out the cessation time. And Bob's your uncle, right? Okay. Um, so great. That, that's what we want to do. Okay, now. Um, I'm going to introduce you to something different, and it's not Bob. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you uh to uh something that's gonna be your friend. Okay, um, yes, Nestron, did you have a question? Oh, a question in the chat, okay. Um, yes, time minus cessation time, that's exactly right. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to a friend. Can I introduce you to that friend? Okay, it's a good friend. Sometimes it may annoy you, but it, it's going to be your friend, okay? It's gonna be your trusted friend. And it's called a function, okay? Um, so I'm going to drag down the function, and, and its job in life is to be to determine um, uh, time. Um, uh, so time since um, cessation. Okay. Um, its job in life is going to do that computation that was mentioned. It's going to take the current time minus when they entered, and it's going to compute that for us. Okay. Time since cessation or time since, maybe we'll call it time since quit. I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Um, time since quit. This function is going to undertake a job for us. And specifically, it's going to return a value. And what value is it going to return? It's a double precision value. It doesn't need anything to do its job. It has no arguments. Don't you wish all friends had no arguments? And 
and and then the function body, what is this going to return? Time sense quit is going to do this computation for us. What's what is it going to return? It's going to return something that was just told to me. What is it? Time. Yep. Speak on time minus cessation time. And if I really want to be careful, I could say this dot cessation time, but but you know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be paper that point. Okay. Um, it is this, but I, I could just leave it out. There it is. And if if you want to be careful about it and you're confused about, you know, does it return the other? You could put the whole thing in parentheses. That that's kind of nice. Um, and then you don't have to worry, does it return this or that minus that? Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put this in. What did I do? I added a function, I called it time since quit. I said it returns a value. I went down to function body and I put in this code. And it says, hey, give this value back. This is what you need. This is this is the value you can do. So we call this function. This function is gonna be our function. It's gonna, whenever we want it, we can, and we're in a form of smoker state. We're gonna call this function, it'll compute. And so no fuss, no muss, it'll compute this for us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the cusp of greatness. Again, we stand poised on the, on the cusp of greatness. And now we're gonna complete the thought. May I complete it for you? Okay, does anyone want this model posted right now? I can post it. Post to I post it. I will. Thank you very much. I will now save this model as version six. Remember, save early, save often. Version early, version often. Here we go. Um, here we go. Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so we have just one little bit. So we have we have a way of recording when they stop smoking. Well, based on that, we have a way of calculating the current time, the time since they quit. That's elapsed since they quit. Now we want the chance of relapse to drop with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put in, <laughs> Wade is wondering how I'm going to complete this thought. Um, so actually a rather simple idea. Um, as time goes on, our chance of relapse is going to go down. And I'm going to have it drop exponentially. I'm going to have it drop exponentially with a parameter of an exponential drop off. So you, you, I think folks here will know what it's like to have a, a curve that drops exponentially. It looks kind of like, like this, right? Something like that. And depending on the, the parameter, so, so this is e to the minus alpha t, t is time. This is a parameter. Depending on the value of alpha, it could go more steeply down, or it could go more, more slowly down. Oh, that doesn't look very exponential. Um, it could go more slowly down, like, like this, um, and, and so on. But alpha is the speed of decrease. Um, and it's actually related to the initial slope. It's directly related to the initial slope. Okay, um, so all we need is alpha, and we're going to say the chance of relapsing being in this state is going down exponentially based on, I guess, what t is going to be. It's the, it's the time sense sensation. That's what it's going to be. The longer you are ceased, the lower and lower your chance per month that you're going to fall back by tuning alpha. You can have a drop more quickly or drop more slowly. Is that okay? Okay. So we need an alpha. Alpha is going to be a constant. It's going to be an assumption. Where are assumptions uh, kept in the model? Anyone tell me? 
They're kept in what? What sort of construct? Parameters indeed. And we're going to have this parameter live because I want to teach you two things at once as I am one in Maine. Okay. So up we go to Maine. Although in Massachusetts, you go down Maine. Okay. And um, because it's downwind. So let's add in a parameter. Here we go. Um, we're going to add in a parameter. And this parameter is going to be called, um, it's going to be called, uh, what, cess cessation, uh, what, what is this going to be called? Um, uh, relapse diminishment coefficient. <laughs> um, relapse, um, um, oh man, uh, can anyone give me a better name? How about one of my students? Relapse, uh, relapse alpha. Okay. Um, Relapse propensity alpha. I kind of like that, but I'll call it relapse alpha. Okay, is that okay? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, we could probably come up with a better name in five minutes, but but we don't have time. Time is of the essence. So I'm going to make its default value zero point zero one. Um, no, 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 no. I'm going to make its default value point one. So it's actually going to within the first, no, 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 no. What's the time unit of this model? Years. So no, we want it to be much, much faster than that. In the first, it, it, it sort of in, within one week, I'm gonna have it significantly decrease within one week. It's gonna be like one over 50, so roughly one over 52. So within the first week, it will drop off to one over E, which is about, you know, one of our people in one seven something somewhere in the point three. So it's going to be like one third of its value after original value after its week. That's a bit fast. Maybe I'll make it 0, um, 0. 0.0115 or something like that. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay. Um, uh, so, so wait a minute. Um, no, 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 no. Um, uh, is, is that right? So, yes, this is. Uh, no, because um, that's going to be, no, 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 no. It's going to be one over that. It, oh, God. It's gonna, it's, we should do it like mean time. Oh, man. We should do like mean time. That's going to be so much easier to think about it. But I'll do it this way. Fine, 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 fine. Sorry. I'm, I'm, um, so it, I'll make it uh, about 50, yeah, 50 time sets. So that's right. That's right. Okay. So in, in T equals one over 50. It will have decreased down um, a lot. Yeah, fine, fine. So, or I'll call it 52. So, it, there we go. It's like 52 weeks. Okay, fine. So, in one week, it will have decreased a lot. Yeah, good to one over E. Okay, there we go. That's our parameter. Do you believe me? Okay, okay, okay. So, there's our parameter. That's great. That's great. And all we're going to have is the relapse depend on this parameter. Instead of being three, it's going to decrease with what? It's going to decrease with time, right? According to this parameter. Do you see that? Okay. Now, my students are wondering, how am I going to finesse this? I know exactly how I'm going to finesse it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've been through this many times. Um, never this example. This is all live. Um, but um, but uh, the old horse knows the way, as they say in China. So, um, I'm going to put in X, that's this E to the minus thing, right? Minus, and I'm going to put in that relapse alpha, and I'm deliberately making a mistake here, times what? What's T here? This is the, you told me earlier, and you were co completely correct. What is T? Time sense cessation. Cessation. Oops, this is not a cessation. There we go. You ready? Someone should take a picture of this. Um, okay. Great. Um, there we go. You ready? Okay. Um, okay. So, and where can I get the time since cessation? The function time since quit 
You just call it. Mm -hmm. There we are. That's what it is. This three was there before. This doesn't show in point two. Times this thing. But there's one fly in the ointment. And this is a lesson that I'm trying to teach you. What's the fly in the ointment? This is a beautiful idea, but it's killed by two ugly facts. So we got to fix. And one of them is, is more obvious. And what is this? What's the problem here? If I press build, what is it going to complain about? Yeah, relapse alpha. It says it can't find it. Where is it? Where's my parameter? It's in main. Darn right it's in main. So I've got to tell it it's up in main. Main dot. Wow. You folks are great. What do you know about main dot? That's awesome. Um, okay. I thought I was going to have to teach you a lesson, but you already knew the lesson. Okay. So it's main dot. It's living up in main. By the way, you can go and see up there, um, uh, up above, there's a there's a little thing. It says, I know about Maine. Maine is like above me. I'm, I'm within Maine. Okay. Um, so Maine, okay. So what did I do? I changed this to Maine dot. There we are. Okay. Now we're on the cusp of break greatness. But there's one ugly fact that still remains because it doesn't continuously call this stuff. It's not going to continuously decrease. So we actually have to tell it, recalculate this every so often. That's the bad news. But the good news is it's real easy to tell it that. And how do I tell it it? I tell it to come out and go back in, come out and go back in. So all I have to do is draw a little, a little line like this that that will 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 do that. Now we already have this one, and and I guess I won't disturb that. But all we have to do is put another one like this, and we'll tell it every. We could tell it every day to recalculate it. We could tell it every week to recalculate it. We could tell it every in a month to recalculate it. I think because it changes rather quickly um, for the first bunch of days, I'm gonna tell it to do it every day. Every day, we're going to do recalculate, calculate hazard, okay? And this is the hazard. You know, I was ruining the fact that before I asked you to hazard a guess. And here, I should have asked you before writing this to guess a hazard. Um, but maybe you don't have that time. Um, OK, so ladies and gentlemen, um, so we have this leave and come back. And we'll do it with a time, oh, sorry, with a timeout of one day. It'll go out and come back in and we'll recalculate this relapse rate. There we go. And that's all. I think that's it. Are, are we ready to do it? So, so what's going on? I, I, I know I just did a lot. I engaged in flourish. Um, there's a bit of finesse here. Probably my students learned a thing or two for, for some of them that are new. So what did we do? I want to summarize what we did here. Number one, we added a variable to keep track when we came in. So we that gave us the basis for calculating how long we spent there. And then I added a variable that computes how long we've been in here. So if I'm in the former smoke state, I can call this function and say, how long have I been quit? In other words, and, and it calculates that by figuring out the difference between the current time and the time where we, um, uh, where we, had, uh, we had recorded when we ceased this time here, okay? So that's the job of this function, it's its job in life. And then I put in, for this relapse, I made it decreasingly likely using this thing that you would relapse. The more time you went out, I multiplied the normal hazard rate for, for relapse, for falling back into smoking, by this value of this function, which would decrease, or the value on decreasing over time, um, 
further you've been the length of time since quit, that's along this axis. Um, so time, time since quit. Yeah. Um, and the further out you go, the smaller and smaller the value that's multiplied. Like maybe this is 0 0.005, maybe this is you know 0 .0, 0 0.1 times what the normal relapse is. You're like 10, 10 times less likely to relapse after a couple of weeks. You're 20 times less likely to relapse after you know a month or whatever. Um, so I put that in there and then I put a final little thing to just make sure this is recalculated every day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes the thought. And I will then run it. How do you expect the model dynamics to be different? Can anyone tell me? Wade. Yes, Wade. Yes. Okay, speak on, you youth. You have two transitions to the mean. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that. One of them is a message transition. And yes. Uh, you are, uh, yeah, you are correct. Uh, you are correct. <laughs> you are correct, young Padawan. Um, yes, um, funny you mentioned that. Uh, yeah, the, the old horse has um, lost its way. So, okay, quite right. So um, when they come back in, the cessation time will in fact be recalculated, right? Okay, um, but this old horse has been around for a while and he is going to fix it another way. Um, and specifically, he's going to fix it by associating this time of the cessation time with each of these transitions. And I think that sidesteps the issue. Yeah, I would see. Yeah, okay. Um, this is why it's good. You may have heard, ladies and gentlemen, there's a movement in programming that's called pair programming. It has multiple people who together sit and kind of engage in, in, in pair programming. Uh, they, they, they program together. One could be a, a very, it can be entirely new to, or quite new to the programming, and one can be senior, and the, it will still help the senior person program. And, you know, the truth is that um, someone like Wade is invaluable for this. He'll cross check this before I run into the problem. Um, but even someone who's new to modeling will often end up making really good suggestions, um, you know, in, in terms of this. So it's good to engage in pair modeling in my mind. And we do a lot of pair modeling with external stakeholders. Okay, so what did I just do? I hoisted this from here into these three transitions. So when people quit, then it records the cessation time rather than doing it here, because as Wade observes, you come out and go back in. Um, yeah, I, I'm shocked that I missed that, but um, uh, the, the old horse is getting a bit too old. Okay, um, uh, so uh, here we go. And how would this change the dynamics, do you think? How do you think this will change the dynamics in terms of the fraction of people that smoke? Can you see anything already? Yeah, there's a lot more former smokers. Why are there more former smokers now? Because once they stick, what? Exactly. They're more likely to stay former smoker for a long time. They're less likely to fall back, right? Because if they can only stay quit for a few months, they are less and less likely to fall back. They're very, very unlikely to fall back. It's not to say there are none. And you'll notice that episodic, like does this doom it to have no former, um, to have no uh, current smokers again? No, because what could happen? They could, they could fall back, right? Um, but it's, it's increasingly less likely. And a lot of them end up dying as former smokers. Okay. Yeah, all the end transitions are changing. I'll, I'll just put this at all the in transitions into this instead of putting it when it came in 
here where it would be re-entered. I put it in this transition, this one, and this one, all the ones that come into it and join. I just put it there. And I will go post this. Is that okay? Okay. That was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, um, now, by the way, we could have a report on how long they've been. For all former smokers, how long they've been quit smoking. Um, that would be not very hard to do. We would have a histogram, but we'll save that for a future day. We okay with that? Any questions on this? Uh, when you leave a state and re-enters, it reschedules the transitions out of that state. That's right. And, yeah. Um, and there's actually, a, wait, I think there's another way to tell it, like recalculate it without leaving and coming into the state. You could say like recalculate rates or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can call, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add this in. So the truth is there was another way to address that, but this one has some nice, nice features to it. Um, uh, so it's not the only way. Um, this is a somewhat more advanced way, I think, but um, but that was that was good. Um, okay, any any other questions though? Questions in the chat? Questions from those in the room? Once again, this screen share thing has disappeared for me. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, any questions in the chat? Um, when you leave a state, isn't that also done by the message transition? Yeah, this one comes, it goes out and comes in. We're allowing that to recalculate this. The key point is we want to recalculate this at least once a day. Um, uh, and this guarantees it, but if you get a message transition and come back in, it will also recalculate it. The point is to have it at, at least a day's granularity for recalculating how quickly you relapse so that for the first few days, someone's a former smoker, it will uh, track the decrease over time um, in the uh, in the, uh, the 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 rates of relapse. Yeah. Um, uh, don't understand how recalculate hazard works without internet. Yeah, it just it just goes out of here and comes back in. Every time you come out of here and come back in, it recalculates this, and so it'll recalculate it here and it'll recalculate it there. Um, I, I you know I designed it. it I, I wasn't concerned because it will even increase the speed with which it's relapsed. This is kind of, um, if I had my druthers, I'd probably eliminate this transition now. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, um, it, it serves its purpose and so on. Nothing fuss with it. Any other questions? Questions in the room? Yes, Michael. I'm just curious. I've noticed maybe one of the models is built uh, by this set and also the Oh, yeah, this thing here. Yeah, I do. Um, because when I pull this down and I, I'm working with a big model, um, uh, it gives me like a zillion different choices here. And I got to kind of look through and say, which is the one I want. If I just go and I, I, I can often visually say, I want this one right away because I know where it's located and I right click on that. But it's no deep reason. I could do it through that the the way I do, or I could do it with the thing on the top, or I could do it in fact through model, build, and choose. It's just that this one I know exactly where to look, and um, and and this the, the ones up here, the way they're presented, it's like the name of the model slash this thing. It's just a lot to look at, and it could get a be a really big list. And I don't like to typically have to bother with that. Yeah, you know? but it's 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 just personal preference. Um, other questions? Yes, Teresa. Um, just out of curiosity, but the internal transition with a current smoker, does that still have the agent leave with any answer for no. no, 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 it stays okay. with them. That's the difference in any logic. I, I made an utterance to that effect, but you may not have been here, that when you have a transition that's purely within, it actually stays in the state. Now that means it doesn't recalculate the timing for things leaving it. Um, so sometimes you want it to recalculate, like this one, we want it to recalculate this relapse hazard. We want it to take this decreasing curve to the top periodically, recompute 
that we have a smaller and smaller chance for unit time of relapsing. So we actually want it to leave and come back in. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, this one would not leave and come back in. It would just uh, perform this action periodically whilst in the state, if that's all. Yeah. Good question. Okay. Um, any other questions? Okay. Let us get to incubator time. Is that okay? Okay, let's let's go back to incubator battle stations if we could. And I will continue to circulate and let's use the balance of the afternoon well. So for our remote partners, um, thank you very much for your attention. I hope this has been instructive in terms of building up this, uh, this model uh, involving um, you know, uh, cessation, relapse, never smokers, interacting with peer influence and um, influence in terms of uptake and relapse in making the longer someone has stayed smoke, uh, stayed quit, the less and less likely to relapse. Um, we also saw um, a little bit of longitudinal information communicated, although we didn't print it out in terms of length of time since quit, we could report that for every person in the population, for example. Um, and uh, we saw reporting processes in the form of this monthly reporting event in the form of this graph. Okay, a lot for today. Hope that's useful. And um, we will reconvene tomorrow morning, 8.30 for another exciting day. Be sure to bring your mice tomorrow. If you have mice, um, Try to bring them because we're going to be exploring some GIS features and you'll be able to zoom in on models with mice with a special ease. Um, if you have like a mouse with a, a rolling, but you can still do it without it. It's just easier with a, with a little, you know, one of these guys. So if you have that, try to bring it tomorrow for the remote folks. If, uh, if you, uh, you have a mouse like that and you want to have it handy for tomorrow, that's great. If you don't, we'll bear with it. Okay, thank you everyone. Take care there and we'll see you tomorrow at 8.30. And for those local, I'll see you in your, in your uh, group homes. <laughs>